Hello people, it's Striker1. Um, I'm here today to show you how to um, basically restore all the from your iPod to an iTunes uh, program that you've never used before. Cause some people have the problem where they've synced their iPod using a, uh, a computer that they no longer can get their hands on. So when they go to plug their iPod into a, another iTunes program, it'll ask you to... Uh, so it's, it says you've got to delete everything on your iPod to sync using the new iTunes program, but uh, you can actually fix this problem. You can store everything from your iPod, and here's how you do it. Um, make sure iTunes is closed. I've already plugged in my iPod, so let's go to uh, my computer if you're running XP or something before that. It'll just be computer if you're running uh, Vista or Windows 7. There's my iPod. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit the Alt key. I'm going to bring up some more options here. Go to Tools. Go to Folder Options. Go to View. Go to Show Hidden Files and Folders. Hit I. Hit OK. And right here we've got two folders that have appeared that were not there earlier. Go ahead and go into iPod Control. And go into Music. Now all your music that's on your iPod is in this folder. However, they're all hidden, which is why they're kind of hazy. Um, go ahead and grab one of these. You can do all of them at once. I'm just going to show you on a smaller uh, smaller amount. I'm going to grab one of these right here. I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this on my desktop because I really don't. Uh, it's just, just temporary. <sighs> Why I'm doing that? Well, let's just wait on it. And I'm pulling this off of a 120 classic. Yeah, Apple tries to make it kind of difficult to do this, but uh, I've never seen anyone do this. But here's an easy way to basically do this whole thing without downloading any of those programs they're always trying to sell on the internet. And then I'm, I'm doing this on the. Uh, a user account that uh, I've never used before, so this is kind of simulating how it'll look if you're using a fresh iTunes. Okay, so there we've got one of those folders on the desktop. It's transferred from the iPod. I'm just going to see something here. Oh, don't tell me. Nah, forget that. All right. Looks like I haven't installed iTunes on this user account. However, here's all you'd need to do. Just uh, right-click on the folder. Go down to Properties. Um, go ahead and see how it says hidden right there under Attributes. Just go ahead and get rid of that. Get rid of the read-only. Go to Advanced. And you can index it if you want to. I'm not. Hit OK. Hit Apply. It's going to ask you if you want to apply these changes uh, to this folder. And you want to go to the subfolders and files, which it should already be in there. You want to apply this to everything inside this folder. So hit OK. And hit OK again. Notice this file is no longer hazy. Now, believe it or not, although regretfully I can't show you, you'll be able to drag this file right here directly into iTunes. Now, they look, you want to be able to tell what these songs are, half of them, because the names have been... Uh, kind of messed up by the iPod, but that's how the iPod reads it anyway. Just go ahead and drag this into your iTunes and it will, uh, iTunes will recognize the songs, it'll put the names in and everything, and you will be ready to go. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.